Um, but yeah, let's have a look at some of these units that are coming in. Yeah, I see a lot of pikes as per on this map. A couple of flamers, a battle long moment. That's Not much interesting. cav for the attackers though. When you look at it, they're mainly yeah, playing yeah, yeah. camels and a lot of anti cav. They've got what is that? Three monastics and one hussar, and then a couple of dagger axes here and there. And you look yeah. at defenders, and they have a lot of hussars. So that's that strat I was talking about, where they kind of let you push onto point and then just clear through with mass hussars. Yeah. Um, so they've got like what six or seven hussars in there. So it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. There's some golden jabs as well for the defenders, which, again, can be useful. You have the supply advantage. So you can do a lot of work from there. They also have the longbows on Ice Eagle, like we said as well. So that's going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. It is. What can they pull out? What work can they do? <clears throat> it's very interesting. If he's uh, thought he's can brace in time, and if they're put in the right position, they can really do a lot of damage to the defenders with all their cav charge and cav spam. But we shall see. There's not really a lot of units on either side for defending A point. So maybe they might be giving up A point to pull back to C. Who knows? I remember how to control the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I do. Yeah, oh, there we fun. go. R to go up. There we go. That's fine. Um, so it looks like they're going to not do a wall defense. They're falling back with their units already, but they're using the siege at least. Um, and of course, no one is now defending this small fort. So yeah, they're just going to pull back completely. However, this does mean that the uh, attack will constantly have access with this resupply on the bridge because they're not trying to kill that bridge. So all they're going to try and do here is do as much damage as they can with this siege, try and pick off some units, try and maybe kill one of the towers to delay things. But it's just going to be trying to clear as much as they can as much damage as they can with this before they then fall back. Mm -hmm. Yep, you also got a couple of heroes on the way now to B. Bringing yeah, a couple of units there as well. And, and, and this is where you look to say what plebs did in the past. Even if we weren't holding the wall, we would still have four or five people on that fort because you can delay so much time there. And you have all those cannons on the fort then that you can use to try and kill towers. So if you're not going to commit with units, you can still just have four heroes to kick those ladders and maybe one more to shoot the cannons and you can get a lot of pressure from that. And it wastes so much more time because most of these games, as well. yeah, 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 potentially, with if they don't kill the Hoatches, most of these games they don't win with time that's left. You know, they will win with one team just killing the other team's units. It's normally what happens. Um, so, time can be a big factor on that. If you force them to have a lot less time to play with, they've got to take more rash decisions. And if you look now, they haven't wasted any time here. They're now just going to rush straight away and cap this as well. Whereas if they'd had four guys on that fort at the start instead of being on the supply at the back. They could have held for another maybe minute, two minutes, you know? Mm. Yeah, um, the attackers have a lot of time now to mount an offense on C point and above. Well, definitely, because if you look at it as well, like, the only way you can counter that fort hold is by pushing the ram. And it takes, what, a minute, minute and a half for it to push and then kill the bridge uh, and kill the gate? So mm. you have that spare time then to play with. That yeah, it so. takes takes that time off them. Um, not a massive amount of jab cap for the defenders here. There's only one out at the moment that I can see. Um, it looks like they're trying to do a supply hole, but they've got a few units that are going to flank from the top side as well. So my thoughts are that they're going to try and collapse from two sides wherever this enemy pushes. Because again, they don't have the long range poke with the Falcos, they don't have Shenjis or Kokos to throw over the top. They only have flames to push in on them. Yeah, possibly. Looks like Argonautas are uh, definitely uh, get a bit rusty still. Um, they still have yet to push the gate. Uh, tower not fully pushed, of course. Not necessarily needed, right? That right tower and the middle tower. Um, so definitely. Keeping those options open. I'm curious to see if they will exploit the longbows as well on the left side here. Yeah, I think they've got them there to try and counter range. But also the attackers have longbows now as well. Mm -hmm. So who's going to be able to pull it off better, basically? It's going to be whoever, whichever longbows win that fight will be the team that has the advantage then. Also got some of last season's tier 5 for the attackers here as well, um, which can do a lot of work. They're very good at flanking, very good at picking off key units. So if they could sneak those through on the left side, get into that back line and kill some of that cab that's waiting at the back, for example, that could be very impactful. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, 100%. But again, defenders are very split at the moment. So they're going to try and just, I think they're going to try and be quite aggressive and just collapse on wherever they're being pushed. Yep. You see they've got a couple of uh, melees up on the top, on the side with the jewel blade up the top side there. You've got a few out the back with the longbow camels and cav there. And you've got the rest on the resupply. Because how much damage can the attackers do? Where can they pull that trigger? It's very interesting, they're starting to mount up onto the wall now. They were I think they're going to try and get some advantage with those longbows. Because oh, yeah. the, the attackers have the advantage there because they have the high ground. Right? Yeah. And definitely um, they've got two units of battle longbowmen now as well. So 
Do they have two arrow heads? I didn't see. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So if they're placed at the right place mm -hmm. at the right time, they should be able to start picking off quite a few units. And they've also got the golden shafts as well, so both sides are making use of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, defenders have the advantage of that because they have the respawn right there, but they can do a lot of damage with those golden jabs because yeah. of the uh, block reduction they have. They're actually not using their timer, they're just going down or straight away. Feel yeah. like they got the space here. It's going to be very interesting because normally when people do attack this map, we normally go down the other set of stairs and normally there's a big fight down there. See, the, the smart thing they're doing yeah. now is they're pushing through the point. All of these guys that are sat on this resupply are massively out of position yeah. there. Can they rotate fast yeah. enough to be able to collapse on this? Can Argonauts pull the trigger fast enough to push through and, and get a good wipe here before the rest comes through? Because you look at how slow these are. I mean, some of them oh, aren't yeah. even moving yet. Three monks there. Like... Three monks are for the Bracho there. That's a... Uh... If they can wipe this here before they get flanked from behind, are the good Treb defensively on the resupply as well? He killed a lot, of the, a lot of those uh, cab that was there, but I think it's just jab cab anyway. But if they can get a good wipe on this top side here and still brace to cover the back, they've got 40s covering their backside. It's a pretty free wipe for them. Yeah. Free monk unit, free forty good, unit. Yeah, good aggressive push from them, and they're holding off their sides as well. So that was really nicely done by Argonaut. So, mm -hmm. and that's the thing. Like they, they, it's such a big map. They saw there was five, six, seven guys AFK who were on the supply. If they pull the trigger fast, enough, they can go for it. Mm -hmm. Are they now pushing too quick now though to be able to try and get the point? Yep. See what they can do with this. Yeah, because none of the anti cabs on the front line right now. So. Yeah, absolutely. We've got yeah. Icicle going in the back for the longbow, so longbows are gone for uh, for the yeah. nuts here, but front, front fight, of course, exploding. <coughs> it is. We've got Hussars coming for the defenders now. It's whether they can use these Hussars on point, whether Argonauts can keep them off with the amount of 40s. They've only got one 40 and one impike. They don't have much anti cab there. These Hussars could be de devastating from the top here. Yeah, oh, he flames, flames though. Yep. They uh, did get they did get stopped, but he got a few kills with that. Can they clear these heroes up in the middle? Good. We do also have yeah, a supply block as well from Drows. It's really good. So three, four heroes from Apes not being able to get any new units there. Oh, this next is coming in. No, they get stopped as well. Well, oh, they can't mm, little get through. They need to start wiping these heroes on point. They're getting a good clear here, and they are still blocking supply. Drowsh and Den attacks blocking that supply where they're farming them on this point now. This is really good. Still, the trade is fairly even. It is fairly even, yeah. Like, it's unit, unit, unit wise, is very even. It's just the hero trade is massively different. Yeah. There's a really, really good first push from Argonauts there. Like, catching those two units, then pushing straight to the point where they have the unit advantage right is really it. good. Oh, they, might try, they might try and snowball it, yeah. Yeah. Quick end point. There's only a unit of Hussars there, which, yeah, just three kills. If they can uh, get enough up on here before the uh, enemy team respawn, then they could potentially uh, get control. Defenders need to get on that point and start setting up ASAP. That's it's just going to be quick. Mm -hmm. then. Yeah. There's already camels, camels and Sivanario starting to run from uh, from Agonaldus to the front as well, but it looks like they're retreating a little bit there. It's a lot of Hazards going into a 40 unit, so that's going to be... Those 40s nice. have farmed quite a few cavs there, but they are getting pushed and wiped now, so do the Argonauts have any more anti-cav at the moment? They've got a camel coming in now, bracing just in time. Nope, it didn't brace. He was pressing two though, so that does fear them, so it's not too bad. They've now got another 40 coming up. This is a really good position for Argonauts to fight in if they get these 40s braced. Yep. Flames completely uncontested at the back. A lot of camels bracing in the middle. So all Spencer's well. going for the flames now though. He's killed two of them. So he's punished them a bit there, but they've lost a lot of heroes here for the defenders yeah. right now. They've lost so much. Just see if Argonauts can keep this snowball going. We got Nico made though on the flank, but Ardu got him with the, with the camels. Yeah, his camels watch the face. Argonauts are covering their flanks really well this game. They have kind of lost the front fight there. They're overextending a bit now into point. They might get wiped here because they have no anti cav there. Yeah. They're but it looks like the Hussars are being a bit scared. They're running away. Alpha Night Tracks going for the flank. Rather, if he'd gone through the front there, he probably would have wiped all of that. Now that now he's going to try and go from the back where they have camels. So the missed opportunity. Camels are there. That's not bad. Yeah, now they've regrouped again, but that was very risky for Argonauts there. They could have been wiped and punished, but they didn't get that uh, charge to the front. Unit difference is still similar, so... Let's see, we've got Monastics coming through now for Argonauts, having a good charge, wiping one hero. They've got set up on the base. I can't yeah. see apes coming back from this. But let's see what happens. They've got a lot of camels on... They've got two units of camels on the point... Uh, three units of camels, sorry. Plus then <laughs> flames, 40s. <laughs> they've got so much anti-cav there. They yeah, did just lose a couple of heroes. You need a heavy infantry push on the end. Yeah, right now, the, so the only thing I can see now is the infantry from Argonauts is not there, so they could get pushed back from this now. There's a lot of melees coming in for apes that could clear this because Argonauts are trying to go supply, they've got people coming at the front, they don't have much on the point itself. 
They need to regroup and get on this point together. Do you think right hero-wise they have e even numbers alive right now, but Argonauts has almost nothing on the point. Good Treb there. Could have been better, but it's decent. But they're, they're, now they're getting wiped here now. They just had too many people, too many yep. people trying to flank there, too many people trying to go supply. They just yeah. didn't get the control on base point anymore. And there's now four or five players from Magnolia coming back in, but they definitely need to, yeah, they're yeah, they going away because they, yeah. if they get caught, then suddenly they, they lose their advantage. And the advantage yeah. is actually almost gone if you look at the the unit score right now. Yeah, it's very even. Uh, I, I think with the end point there, I think when the defenders start pushing out a little bit, maybe they should have just all pulled back, got new units out, and grouped up properly. Instead. You know, the attackers had, what, four or five guys still there fighting, and it just became more and more of a losing battle there. Yeah, Argonauts have lost one guy three times now as well. So Oriatha is out three times. Most of Apes is on two deaths, but then quite a few Argonauts are as well. So I have to see what happens with this now, whether Argonauts can regroup. Unit-wise, pretty even. Um, if we look at sort of what's left, yeah, I, honestly, no. Nah. I don't see any chance of Argonauts losing this. They have 100 tier 5 to 8 of apes. They have 286 tier 4 to 26 of apes. Apes have like 200 surfs. So unit-wise, Argonauts should have this in the bag. I mean, they've got basically 400 units of tier 4 and 5. Apes have 30. Yeah. So this should be over. But we'll see. They had a good de defense. They pushed them off. They killed a lot, but... The units Argonauts come back in with now, and you look at it, 40, 40, Madao, Halberd, Halberd, Camel, uh, Longbows, Monastics, and you look at the defenders, and it's, you know, a lot of Halberds, a couple of Shields, some Surfs. It's going to be hard to hold this, especially with the Trev advantage as well. Yeah, and it's also eight and a half minutes left, so tons of time here for Argonauts. They can even, like, do some hero push if they want. Not necessarily needed, though, but Very there's lots of time here. they're all going to be doing a hard push on the right side. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Argonauts are just going to try pushing from one side, it looks like, which can be risky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like Argonauts are definitely a little bit more hesitant now after losing that, that fight just now. Yeah, yeah but then if they look at the units right now, they should see that they have a mm -hmm. big advantage. Absolutely. Also, I think it was wrong. The screens, uh, the overlay is wrong. So it's not 26 tier 4s, it's 260. But still, Argonauts have 100 tier 5s to none from Apes. So if they play it smart, they serve the advantage. If you look at the tier 4 that are left for Apes, like I said, it's a lot of Halberds, a lot of Shields. Mm. Um, whereas Ooh. Argonauts still have a lot of good stuff. Apes yep. are suiciding for those um, Longbows, which, yeah, they kill the Longbows, but they've now lost two heroes. So Argonauts have a two hero advantage to push now. Can they push in and win this? Which at this point in the game is huge. Yeah, they can easily start slow pushing up. Yeah, personally, I never like pushing just from one point because it's a lot easier to get held here. So if they can try and get one of the cab to flank just to get some pressure, because mm -hmm. it doesn't have to go in, but it just draws that pressure. It means the enemy has to watch it. And as I say that, you got um, Andrew, also got Andrew going around there now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he got some dagger axes. Oh, and Oriatha had died three times. The scoreboard said he had, but he's, he's still in. Oh, sorry. There's no three. There's no three death limit. Is it? I'm being massive trap there, by the way. On this fight. <laughs> I think it's CBL <laughs> trap. Yeah, yep. big trap there. Yeah, no, it's a big push right now. If you start to I find the heroes taking them out. It's struggle really to see apes holding this with the amount of fucking units that are pushing across the point right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the, like, the there's so is, many units from Argonauts here. But heroes are dying now. Argonauts just lost well. one at the start. Ooh, here comes the Dagger Lance. Good cap yeah. flank from Droush. Yeah, this, yeah, I, I, this yeah, is. Over. This is yeah, this is GG. But again, time-wise, if they'd wasted an extra two minutes on A, maybe waste a little bit of time on C, could they be a bit more aggressive on C, they could have wasted more time there. And that's why this map is, is so good for attackers, because you have so much time to play with. And if the defenders don't lengthen that out, don't stretch that out a bit, you can get massively punished. It's kind of the same on defense as well. You can't just set up in one area and hope that they'll come to that area, just like you know, these guys did. Just yeah, Ooh, only one more left on the point right now. Looks like free kill is not going to get on there. Three, yeah, no. two, <laughs> one. There we go. Yeah, Argonauts is taking the first game here against yeah. Apes. Honestly, really well played by Argonauts. I think Apes will be yeah. surprised by that. I don't think they would have been thinking much of Argonauts, um, personally. Um, but yeah, that was really good. Some of their really aggressive push on C, I really like that. They just decided to push that pedal and just go and just push in, wipe those two free units and go straight for point when they had the advantage. Mm -hmm. And they dealt with those Asars quite well. I think the only thing that could have 
helped there is if apes had taken out all of their hussars and charged from both sides at the same time, but they went one by one by one and they just got stopped. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. And taking a look at the MVP, we could see Wu Wolokan XD from Apes always on the flanks there. He's been putting in the numbers for sure, but he wasn't able to carry Apes to a win. Uh, on yeah, the he other had side, some good Hussar charges as yep. well. He was with the first Hussar that went in on C and wiped two heroes and a load of units, so he was good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so definitely good performances on Apes on his side there. But Alko Fribas taking MVP for Argonautas with 3, 2, 8, and 113 unit kills there. Um, looking at Maestan and Aldur also getting above 100 unit kills there but let's take a look at Drowse on the uh on the daggers there nine hero kills he's going for uh he's going to look con look and contest Amya for the for the most hero kills perhaps this season gonna get some more though all right gonna take a quick look at the battle stats and then um, we can go back to creating another lobby Right. I'm going to have to drop out now, just because yep. I need to go prepare for my game. So, Excellent. best of luck, guys. I'll leave you in these guys' capable hands, and I will be back a bit later. All right, see you in a bit, uh, Temple. Good luck. Bye-bye. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so I'll be going back to you. <clears throat> All right, Echo, so I'm going to get you into the other stream there. Let me just set this up real quick for you. All right, Echo. That was a good one there. Uh, we're gonna go to game two then. Uh, Apes is going to attack, and this time we will be seeing Argonautas uh, defending. Um, just gonna say that um, the Outriders didn't seem to have that much of an impact uh, in this map this time. It's Outriders can be used really well in these kind of situations, but sometimes they can. I know that every now and again they, they have a few AI difficulties as well with throwing their javelins. So, I feel like the defenders didn't really have too much opportunity to actually, you know, do their defensive plan properly, as Argonauts did just literally, they came from a different side completely, they went right for C, defenders were hoping for a supply push, which it didn't mm -hmm. happen, so they were just more interested in rotating onto the C point as quick as they can to try and save point, definitely after giving up A and B as well. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think they had, could use them at their full potential. And I feel like the defenders were on the back foot right away when it came to the C point push. And yeah. they were just trying to do what they can when they can. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, so now it's going to be re really interesting to see if um, apes are actually able to also get the attack. Um, or if they are uh, upset now after taking this loss against <laughs> Argonautas. Because, I mean, apes is one of the teams that have been screwing the most, I think. Um, yeah. Can you confirm that uh, that statement, yeah? I believe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a scrum against Apes the other day, and uh, didn't do too bad. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're doing as many as they can. Yep. Yeah, absolutely right. All right, Lobby is up, so you can join uh, as well. Same pass, again. Yeah, same pass. So it's good. Team's loading back into the lobby. Let's find you as well. Huh? Mm, that goes. You and Arden? Sorry, I'm on defender's side. <laughs> <laughs> you want to defend this time? Oh, you, you, you're, you're sticking with uh, Argonautas. I get it, I get it. Yeah, sub me in quickly. <laughs> Alright. It'll be interesting to see how um, these guys are going to defend this time around. Are they going to give up A and B? Or are they going to try and hold? <coughs> I'm curious. I would definitely like to see a B hold here on the map. I mean, uh, you could see how much uh, even the attackers were bringing in terms of like the the anti calf with the camels, of course, but also the calf. Yeah, um, I think that's what a lot of teams do. Always as well, an interesting idea, back. right? To just mind flip it and say we're yeah. going to full hold the the walls. Yeah, 
Uh, I'm quite a big fan of holding A. I feel like you can have a really solid formation on A and mm. be able to give the attackers quite a bloody nose before they even look at taking it. And sometimes mm. if you hold it strong enough, the attackers have nothing left except for Cav and you're just sat on the wall like, sorry mate. <laughs> so yeah, personally I, I do like, I, I prefer holding A and B because sometimes I feel like having that extra six minutes to see, I feel like it's a very long time. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like when you're an attacker with an extra six minutes on the clock, you can relax, you can take a breath, you can, yeah, you've got plenty of time to go to supply, mm -hmm. get new units out proper, group up together and have a really strong attack where mm. if you stronghold A and B, even if eventually they do take A and B, normally you've held it long enough where the attackers get quite panicky and they'll just want to start rushing and then that's when you start seeing small mistakes, you start mm. seeing like inting happening yep. and that's when you can just start picking them up one at a time and then before yeah, you know it, they've only got like two minutes left to yeah, take exactly. C and then, yeah. It's just absolutely, space. absolutely. Yeah, we'll talk more about it. All right, looks like we're ready, so we're gonna get the game on the way. It's game two. Uh, Apes versus Argonautas. Apes on the attack this time. Argonautas on the defense. Uh, luckily, you joined me on the spectator mode, so um, <laughs> we'll be good to go there. All right, gonna Definitely. load the match as well. Sound check, video check. Uh, I'm sorry for the logo at the top, guys. It's blocking the cap. I realized. Um, so that's something that we will have to fix next week. So. We'll get that for you guys later. I'll make sure to count down the seconds when it caps almost fully tech. Alright. Um, yeah, so let's go over to heroes and uh, units first. And then I definitely want to go back to, to the time versus unit like strategy that the defenders are doing. So, but let's just check out the heroes and units first. Yeah, it seems like this time it's pretty, very similar as uh, last time. A lot of anti cav, uh, a lot, and not that much cav to be honest with you. A couple of cav units on each side, so nothing crazy. Um, hero weapon wise, got a couple more jewel blades on the attack side this time. Mm -hmm. uh, pikes as well, so I'm guessing they're trying to look at those hero killing. And then on the defense side, you've got um, some muskets, so you're going to see plenty of musket bombs, definitely three of them there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, on, you got... on the defense, though, lots of like there's four or five guys for, with full cav almost. Uh, got Malabre, got Mastan, Ariatur, Litra, all, 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 all of those guys on full cav basically. Um, yeah, and then with lots camels of as well, so they've yeah. got their anti cav there with it. Absolutely. Yeah. It seems like cameras are very, very uh, meta at the moment. Mm -hmm. Very popular. Absolutely. <coughs> All right, gonna find out. Okay, so um, going back to the point you just made. So as a defender, you basically have to make a choice right on the map. Are we going to fight for time or are we going to fight for, for units and try and win the fights? But you, like you said, if you give the attacker too much time, too much freedom, then they will be able to dictate the pace of the game. Um, so it's not... At some point, you, as a team, gotta make this this decision, right? And you having some experience playing with Rise of Series, also with Plaps in the past. How do you think about playing for time or playing for units? I personally like playing for time. Definitely on the defender side. Mm -hmm. I like playing for time personally because, for example, ten minutes. If you can hold A and B until like four, or five, uh, the three, four minute point before you lose it, it gives the attackers not as much time to be able to push towards mm -hmm. future points. Also as well with A and B, you can, like definitely on this map, A and B, you can have a solid setup right off the bat. Where as we saw in the match before, when they had a setup, when they gave up A and B, they had a setup by supply point. The attackers didn't even bother going to supply point until it was, mm -hmm. you know, until it was too late. So personally, as I said, I like playing for time. Get a solid couple of units on A and B point to hold off the attackers, and yeah, waste as much time as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds fair. So we do see no uh, small small fort defense once again. Although there might be some kind of defense on the B point here, just yeah, heroes like... from uh, from Apes, of course. Yeah. yeah, just heroes and a single unit of Hashishins. Ooh, nice pickup there. Nice, nice, very good. Yeah, yeah so this is at least delaying them a little bit. They do need to bring units here. In order exactly, to, to and, and as you see from the attacker side right now, they're kind of going up one at a time. Mm -hmm. They've now stopped at the top of the stairs there to group up a little bit to be able to push that B point. Uh, defenders are pulling back, so yeah, I, I think they probably want to pull back because of the treb. They don't want to be obviously trebbed. Absolutely, uh, yeah. yeah. The, the attackers yeah, are pushing pretty hard with their shield maidens there. Yeah. Drowsh losing half of his Hashishins though. Ooh, looks like yeah, Diplomat going down as well. Yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. And now uh, 
Argonautas, or wait, let me check, change the thing. But yeah, so now, uh, hang on there. All right, so I was thinking there's two units of Sivan Hari, though. I, like, the, the hero kill doesn't really matter right now. It, it, there, there's no CBL rule, like three death, um, death limit. So I feel like um, Apes actually could have gone for uh, for a push there, maybe with the heroes to try and find the Sifos there. Yeah, it, it definitely would have been worth it to try and find out where these units are. Definitely the more special ones like flamethrowers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I think even if, yeah, you do int one or two people, just to even kill half of that unit would have been massive on that. But yeah, they decide not to, to group up a little bit with their shield maidens. But again, it seems like the defenders are looking at doing more of a solid C hold. They had a slight tiny A and B hold, a nice little pick at the start there as well. But, uh, they've gone for a different tactic this time with defense, not very supply heavy, more main stretch, which mm -hmm. is pretty good because without art at the moment, they don't they're not, they don't have to be afraid of any mortars or anything like that. So, and they can rotate it quite easily in this position to wherever the attackers want to push down. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's already a very different uh, setup compared to what Apes had on defense. Uh, meanwhile, small skirmish going on here with Excalibur and all the Kofi buffs, but. They're gonna back off there. Yeah, so there's uh, a time shall talk about it before the match, right? Currently, for the attackers, there's only the gate and there's only the, the stairs. Meanwhile, the defender's actually going outside right there to stop the battering ram. Yeah, I, I guess it's more of a just a, a time save kind of mm -hmm. thing. A quick wipe of the units. I like it. Yeah, I mean, that's even, uh, what is it? Oh, that's that's half a unit of Spencer's uh, Myrmelons. Mir Gone yeah, as well. Which are quite important. I think these Mermelones are very strong mm -hmm. at the moment. Definitely with like, hard pushing, they can really mess up a formation of near enough anything right now yeah. with their charge. So to lose half a unit of that can be quite dire. So right. that is a small little victory for the defense here. Yep, absolutely. All right, Apes, meanwhile, picking up the location on the left side of the map there, taking the high ground with their uh, longbows. Yeah, they're, uh, they're just going to be peppering away at a defense. Try and pick off any important units, like the flamers there in the corner by Wolf Silent. You get one or two of them, that can be quite huge. Do you reckon that trap's going to hit? Doubt it would, but maybe it does. Ooh, it might actually, yep. Oh man, that's a good one there. Oh. Oh, you know, it's very, very oh, nice. Oh, three Even flamers. One hit, yeah. it, it was good. It was hit. Yeah, that is good. As well, it, it took over the cover a little bit there, so it might be um, worth moving their units a little bit. Because mm -hmm. now they can get trapped again there. Yep. Uh, also, Vassal Longbow will be able to get into Ooh, there as well. They're not watching and, once yeah, again. That's quite devastating. That is a lot of units now that have either Oof. been taken out. Yeah, that's 10 shield maidens. Only maidens. one flamer left there. 22, yeah, that's almost like a full unit of Shield Maidens, full unit of Sivos. That's yeah, that's a good quite thing. a big loss, to be honest with you. It's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do to uh, mm -hmm. reset up again with this. Yeah. Trap is ready once again as well. I'm not sure if Apes can see the units hiding, the two units of Stalwarts and Fortabraccio on the, on, the, on the platform here from uh, Argonautis. But that's also very travelable. Exactly, it looks like they're starting to uh, move down now from the main, uh, from the side staircase, yeah. and also the main stairs as well, at the back. Looks like just a bait <coughs> to get the traps in there. Nice hit on the camels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's gonna hurt. These traps, this game have been a lot more accurate than last game so far. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, it's really good. But the defenders are rotating quite quickly mm -hmm. to um, get that battle line set up. And also start baiting up those traps. Yeah, absolutely. Apes playing it very patiently. I like it. I mean, they, they talked before the season about how aggressive they are and how aggressive they want to be, but uh, this is very patient play here. Using the traps, baiting out the movements from Argonautas just to check if they're able to rotate uh, quickly enough. Yeah, exactly. I think that they're looking for their opportunity. You know, they're peppering down with their vassals at the moment. You know, they're getting quite decent damage mm -hmm. off of them. And with the uh, extra traps, like you see one going down now in those 40s, can really work in an attacker's favor when these things are hitting 
and uh, the attackers right now, it's like I said, with losing A and B points so quickly, they've got so much time to just take their time to pepper away. Because, uh, as like Temple said earlier, this map is huge. It's such a C point area is absolutely massive. There's so many different ways you can attack it. And, um, yeah, when when you do give up the A and B points so quickly, you, you have so much time to pepper away at them, to drop your trebs, like, in normal sieges, drop your arty and whatnot. And, um, yeah, it seems to be working really well so far. Mm -hmm. be interesting to see what it'll be like when we actually start seeing a real proper fight going on in a minute. Yep, absolutely. The longbow man from Isigo are now half unit, I think, or even less. So they won't be having a lot of views left in them. Looks like they are retreating, so Isigo is going to get a new unit. Um, I think Apes will just chill for a minute or so, get the get all of the units, and then I'm expecting them to go. They got Kev waiting outside as well. Two units of Kev there. Let's check it out. It's Cataphracts and Monastics. Look, the defenders do have camels in the main gate at the moment. They'll probably exactly. in those camels and just keep them out of that main gate to slow the, uh, the attackers down. <clears throat> yeah, not too much happening at the moment. As like I said, it's all about the attackers peppering down the defenders, getting their trebs off, see if they can get any valuable units. Mm -hmm. Had some really good trebs so far, taking out a full unit of flamers, opening them up at small little breach there, where they did take out the flamers as well, so it's another entry of attack. Yep. And we can see uh, Apes now actually trying to clear the camels in front of the gate, they use the uh, the gold javelin there as well, so how watches in the back. Definitely worth doing. Mm -hmm. You get a clean main gate and then, for example, the attackers come down from the side, they can mm -hmm. really get a decent flank off. Main gate alone. Yeah, and looks like we'll still be playing for time because um, what is it? There's no unit of longbow being co coming up the wall here. Yeah. So we'll still be chilling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still will be chilling. I, I, I do feel like it is been quite a while now. Like, don't get me wrong, I do like playing for time. I do like getting these extra minutes in. But I do feel like the attackers have really taken their time so far with this. Mm -hmm. But even then, we still got seven minutes. So <laughs> exactly. Well, but at some point, like it, it does take like two or three minutes to really properly capture a point. So oh yeah, definitely. If, if they, if the attackers do want to make use of all of their units, then uh, they definitely need to go at some point. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Does seem like they're, they're going to be doing a side staircase push there, but. Yeah, they're just taking their time about it. Really are. And they just opened the side breach up as well. So, yep. you see Cav, uh, oh, I think we do see a push happening down now. Yeah, I think this is the go button. We got a small flank going on with help sergeants and the monks on the uh, on the gate there. They'll be trying to interrupt all the Cav from uh, from Argonautas and apes are waiting with the Cav at the breach, like you said. Skirmish going on though at the, at the, at the stairs. Yeah. Big skirmish going on. They've got forties on the side breach. They've got camels in the main gate as well. So it's all on these trebs right now and the push. Let's see how the attacker's going to do. You've got Star Wars who are just moving in there. It can really be devastating. You've got more in the back lines. Big hits, big hits. They're really starting to wipe this uh, this attacker. Defenders are putting on a really good show here. Absolutely. They're even blocking the. The bridge there, so the calf from uh, from from apes are not able to get in. They need to rotate to the gate, but there's also Excalibur's uh, camels there. So, and uh, supply push by two heroes was also stopped by Argonautas. They've cleared it now, so the defense looks like it's defense. holding very steadily. Yeah, and with like the units such as the flamers getting taken out earlier on, it's mm -hmm. a good little surprise. So yeah. the attackers have lost quite a lot of units there in that attack. Yeah, uh, they're still on the unit gain though. They still have more units. So. See how these defenders now start clearing it up and how they're going to reset up. I think the attackers are looking at the side breach to start pushing through with cab and whatnot. They are pushing through pretty well. I do feel like they do need some anti cav. It just seems like there's a bit of a cav spam and spam at the moment. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of camels there from uh, from the defender from Argonauta's side, still sitting at the gate, but they're also reinforcing the breach now. Uh, so apes are really struggling to get this attack going. Yeah. Gulash making sure that his photo watcher was sitting inside the gate. So there's a small opening now inside the gate for apes to get through with the calf. But it won't be for long there. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Balls are coming through. Yeah, that that was a very good defense. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see how they're going to reset up now because there are so many different openings. Yeah, and there's now uh, six down from Aves, only zero down from Argonautas. They got all of the defenders standing still. Yeah, no. Yeah. Quite devastating for the attackers there. Mm. So, yeah. When they got in now in those in that VC, they got to start calming each other down, getting themselves set up, getting themselves grouped up, and look at doing a hard push together again. Now it looks like it's going to be a really hard push here at the at the bridge unless they rotate to the back to the gate. No opportunity now to get the longbow uh, up in the wall again. If they yeah. even have them still. <laughs> no. Yeah. If they still do have them, they definitely want to uh Get him up on the wall and start peppering down. But it looks like it's just going to be a massive bump heads right now. So many units of camels all braced up. It's literally anti cav versus anti cav right now. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's a really slow and steady fight there. Hops are just yeah. trying to push forward. <laughs> just mall versus mall. Here comes the cav though. Big Zor charge trying to get through. Yeah. Let's see what happens with this. If they get anything big from Ooh, it. Ooh, actually went through. He went through. And the attackers had a very good push there. Ooh, with diplomats going to get back in there with this calf on the side there. Dagorax lances. But I think they were being stopped by the Fortuwachi there. I believe so. Two minutes already left on the clock now. I mean, the, the supply is still in the hands of, of Argonauts and the defenders, so they will be able to get new units in. Trap flying in. Yeah, the defenders got to be really careful right now how they defend this. Mm -hmm. You want to be really into them one guy at a time because before you know you can use eight yeah, exactly. very quickly uh, defenders do need to start pushing as a bit of a blob there yeah c points now 10 seconds capped Ooh, this is going to be a good trap yeah, if it lands uh, there yeah that's going to be devastating if that hits properly yeah there we go Oof. i think that's it another unit of flame is gone Got, nice yeah, Uzars there, yep, gone. that's all the flamers gone, especially with those Uzars. The Uzars from uh, Argonautas were not able to get their flank going. Yeah. Two minutes left, only 10 seconds needed to cap, I think, here. Yeah, they should be able to cap this pretty easily now. There's literally just a couple of heroes and very small amount of units. They do have monks. I don't know if the monks are going to be able to do much there. We got the Dagrax lances, though. They are though. starting to come through. Yeah. yeah, they are starting to come through now. The attackers do need to look at probably start dogpiling one unit, uh, one yeah. hero at a time. There's no they units left, I think, from right the attackers. So um, it's only a hero fight right now on the point for 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 apes. Argonaut is finally able to get some new uh, new units in there. Very close, very close. Mm -hmm. Depending so, on death timers right now, ooh. the attackers do want to be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Need about what five to ten seconds left on C before they take it. So. Mm -hmm. Maybe they might have enough time to actually blob up a little bit as three, four heroes and actually push in. But that's pipe militia. <laughs> yeah, pipe that's going to do much there. And a couple of halberds, so it's going to be interesting. Definitely against medals and uh, crescent monks. Yeah, here those malls are going to be spinning to win there. Oh, they're, yes. They're going to have a field day. This is easy, easy life for the malls. Yeah, that's a big little wipe there. Mm -hmm. Trap going to come down, probably wipe out the medals and the crescent monks. Um, it's pretty much just a death match now. Um, yeah, the attackers are starting to come through pretty uh, hero heavy. They have mm. got a unit of hussars, so if they do get a decent hit off of that, they could probably just wipe that point. It's going to be very close here, very close. Uh, the Star Wars are placed in quite a nice place. All the defenders now have literally just got to jump on the point. Every single hero that spawns in just jump on that point. Yep. Yeah, this is it. This is five seconds left. They are not going to be able yeah. to cap it. Nice defense here by Arcanalus. They're going to take a 2-0 nice against defense. Apes. Ooh. Very nice defense. I don't think they got the um, the value out of their flamers, mm -hmm. but overall, very nice defense, yes. Yeah, absolutely. They had all side. Yep. All right, I'll let you go through the player stats. Um, I'm going to take a real quick get away from my, from my PC here, so I'll be back in a minute. Like literally a minute. Uh, so just go over the, yep. the heroes and units and whatnot, and then uh, I'll see you in a minute. Yep, so Argonauts won that. Um, <clears throat> look at the hero stats and unit stats over here. 
MVP for our short sword friend, Adra Juice. 106, 122 unit kills, very good. Plenty of support points there as well. Mools come in clutch as normal. Muskets as well, 6 hero kills, 9 assists, Mala break, good stuff. Excalibur 2 and 1, Miss Diplomat 2 2, 8. Very good stats there on the side there. Uh, Wall Silence 0 3, buddy. <laughs> and this from the ape side as well. Um, Ice Eagle, 13 hero assists here, 61 unit kills. Alpha, Nit Rat, MVP for their side, 102 unit kills, very good stats. <coughs> Looking at post battle analysis as well. Very, very crazy over the C point. Obviously, same kind of strategy again with the defense, giving up A and B point and then just setting up around the C point. And they held up very well. Some very good trebs there, a lot of peppering, and the defense handled it very well. And they managed to set up and, yeah, win the fight. Very good fight overall. Yeah, overall, very hard map to both defend and attack, but these teams did very well at it. Put a comment session now. Yes, Lorca. Well done, Argonauts. Very good fights of the day. Apes performed very well as well. Looking forward to the future matches with both of you guys as well. All right, back once again. No. Hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> I did. It's been, right, it's been by myself here. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, so um, yeah, there we go again. Um, we'll be trying to get uh, Adri Du, the team captain from Argonales, in here. That'll be good to hear from him. Yeah. I'm just quickly gonna hit all the players and we'll be going out of the lobby there. All right. That's a good first match. I hope you learned something for yours as well. If you play, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I always look forward to these tournament games. It's yeah. uh, it's nice to see how well your team will stack up against another team. Mm -hmm. Always good fun. Absolutely. It's just such Wolfort's a fun way of playing as well. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think Wolfort's a very good map, uh, map as well. There's mm -hmm. so many different ways to attack and defend it. And, yeah. and it's nice to see how other teams will react with their defenses, how they set up their defenses, mm -hmm. and the same on the attack side as well. What they're gonna aim for, what, what is their general setup. So, so it's good to be able to uh, watch other teams do this. Yep, definitely is. I like that we saw two different defenses as well. Um, the one from Apes definitely really spread out. They tried to play with the Outriders, right? Um, but not able to rotate quick enough. They were punished quickly by Argonautas on the attack there. Um, but then Argonautas doing a really close defense to wall, very different. Uh, it was very effective. I mean, you could even see them really aggressively going out, right, uh, at the gate, stuff like this. Really cool. I like it. Yeah, very good defenses. Apes, yeah, I think with theirs, maybe they could have rotated a little bit quicker. I think that would have helped them massively. And then, yeah, Argonauts, very close, very good. Uh, and uh, they blocked off the main gate and the breach very well. Mm -hmm. Definitely when the Apes side, they pushed down the main stairs there. Um, yeah, they... 
I think it's a bit gutting on the Argonaut side as they lost both their flamers, and I don't think they got their value out of that. But other than that, yeah, amazing defenses. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, so next up is end Gegner versus No Beaches. So that will be a really cool one. Um, end Gegner, of course. You either love them or you hate them. Uh, that's at least the case for most players, <laughs> I think. And then No Beach is, of course, a team that I think most players really like seeing to play, at least. Um, they love to play their Zagali in Malaysia. And I can already tell you that uh, Endgame can actually select the Zagali in Malaysia. Um, so No Beaches will be able to play with Zagali and, and, uh, and their muskets as well. So Very curious to see um, how well Endgame is able to prep for this season. They've been struggling a bit. Yeah. And I think Sake and Militia are very powerful at the moment. They, they can really win a fight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Definitely if the enemy team are clumped up pretty well. Yeah, they can really take over a fight. So it's quite surprising that no one's banned them out. Mm -hmm. It is, it is. And uh, no, Beach is even selecting monks. I, I'm not sure if it's a joke or uh, something else, but um... <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. You just never know some of these players. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's gonna be good. All right, I'll show you guys the 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 unit bands for the next match. Um, let's check it out. You're seeing unit bands, all well, right? Second, seeing unit bands. Uh, it's in hashtag feudal game lobby. So uh, Endgegner banned Falconetti, then No Beach is banning Sivanarioi, then Endgegner selecting Zikali in Malaysia, No Beach is selecting Wonks, then No Beach is banning Camels, and Endgegner banning Outriders. So it will be a very different game because we saw Camels Outriders being, being like very oppressive last game. Um, so it's not going to be the same at all in this next one. It's definitely going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Zykei and Militia, Zykei and Militia are very, very good with winning fights. So Absolutely. if one, one of the sides have it and the other don't, then it's you, you're going to know who's going to win mm -hmm. that fight. If they both have it, it's just going to be, yeah, Coco's everywhere. Yeah, literally. absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, uh, with uh, Camels and Outriders both being banned, that's mm -hmm. it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, and Zikali, and with, for example, the defense that uh, Argonaldus just pulled off, uh, so close to the wall. If you have Sikalians sitting on a wall there, they will easily throw at the positions that the Argonauts was trying to hide in. Yeah. And then, then it's just no defense anymore for Argonauts at, <laughs> at those points. Like uh, everything will just be melting. Yeah, you would have lost so much by that point that yeah, it would have been very difficult. All right, all right, all right. Good, good. Okay, so before we go to the other one, we're gonna be joined by, if I can find him, Andri Du. So here we go. All right, welcome, Adridu. Thank you. Congrats on the on the win, first win of the season. That's already a good start. No, no, first win in two seasons. <laughs> two seasons. <yeah. laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Of course, you you, you got the uh, like a tie a couple times, but yeah, this is the first good win in two seasons. Congrats on the match. Um, Thank you. What happened and how did it go so well? Well, we just played according to how we play in scrims like we just lived up to our expectations and you mm. know referring to our talk like a yeah. week ago or something but good momentum going into the game good confidence our attack was nice pretty decent i'd say mm -hmm. we Absolutely. started choking in defense a bit like mm -hmm. eating trevs like, <laughs> like we were eating rocks <laughs> as if there were no tomorrow like straight up yep. so defense was pretty bad overall i'm glad we recovered we had a good read on what they will do as well on their attack like i I called what they will do, like start pushing when Breach would have gone down and stuff, like we could anticipate what they did and yeah, the the players also followed me nicely. Mm -hmm. A bit of panic during the end game, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> holy fuck, that was rough. Yeah, definitely <laughs> was rough. Yeah. And yeah, I'm glad. You said that the attack was, uh, was kind of easy, it definitely looked easy with the, with the pick on the, on the left platform there, uh, picking up two units, so that was free. Um, but then at, at the middle, like the second fight for the first one for the final, didn't yeah, really go your way, and that was really when you guys were stressing out a bit, I think. No, we didn't stress out no? on our attack. Like no, mm. no, no stress on our attack. Like we still had longbowmen. 
Mm-hmm. We pressed tab, we looked at like 840 branches and we were like, yep, time Let's to chill go. for like yeah. 5 minutes. <laughs> Let's go lads, we're chilling. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Just, yeah, we also adapted quite nicely, good calls. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, it was definitely nice. And then the uh, longbowman happened again on the uh, on, on the second game because um, you guys had to eat a lot of traps and a lot of longbow there for like so many minutes. Yeah. How did how did it feel? Did it hurt? Mm, I mean, not on my group. <laughs> but, uh, I, <laughs> like uh, it wasn't the group who took, took the the pain, but uh, we flamed the other group really hard yeah, for yeah, eating yeah. traps. Like straight up. <laughs> what are you like, doing? What the fuck, guys? What are you doing? Do you not <laughs> yeah. move? Do you not have an X key? <laughs> yeah, like, you guys ate quite a lot there. I, I think you lost more flamers to Trebs than anything else. Yeah. I think we lost them to the longbowmen, to be honest. Because we lost them quite early on, which is why we mm -hmm. took a third one. But we didn't have time to pull it out, so it was pulled out on the retake for the final point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, you, points. You, you did a uh, cover breach and main game very well there with your 40 yeah, second really cables. I think that, that helped you guys out massively when eventually it did push. Yeah, the, the call was block, breach, and gate. If your unit dies, go to supply and swap. Eight people die? Hmm. Hmm. I see they didn't listen very well. <laughs> but yeah, it was fine. Like, our defense was quite bad, I'd say. Well, decent, but... <laughs> we're qu quite fortunate that we, we won, to be honest, because I don't think we could have recovered if we lost that C point. Yeah, that definitely looks very dire uh, for for a few minutes there until you finally were able to actually get the the the, 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 the units back on the point there. That was really yeah. close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, also weird to say because that was quite a nice attack that they had to be honest. Mm -hmm. Maybe it lacked a bit of tempo, but that that was it. Yeah, that was nice overall. Yeah, absolutely. Got a hate longbowman. <laughs> yeah, they definitely seem to have found their way into the tournament scene now. Um, uh, we saw last season actually, was it um, on Pondguard, it was War Farfu, I think, actually playing it on um, uh, White Elk for a little bit there. But uh, this season, uh, apparently, the return of the Longbow. We hate Outriders. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All my homies hate Outriders. Just hate everything ranged. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Real and factual. Yeah, basically, right? <sighs> <laughs> the adrenaline. <laughs> Imagine being my player is like finally tasting a victory after two seasons of defeat. <laughs> it's good, man. It's good. Uh, I'm glad you guys are really hyped up about that. It's, it's good to see you guys taking a win. Hopefully, more yeah. to come. Yeah, hopefully. We have a nice so, schedule ahead of us. So, momentum's gonna keep going up. I hope so for you. Yeah, absolutely. So, you already know your opponent from next week. So, um, it's going to be. Gotta check it out here. Bond card. Pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just pain <laughs> once again. <laughs> I live off of pain now. I like it. It's yep. something we can win, like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I told you we're aiming aiming for fourth place with the copium, so mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have to win against Bond card if we aim for fourth. So. Oh, absolutely. Well, you you already won against Apes, and they're also going for uh, top four, so um, that's a good start. Right. I thought this it first in our interview. I can't remember. Get clip back up. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you tie against uh, Pondcard last season? I think you did, right? Did they? I think so. Jesus. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> let me check. I wasn't here. Oh so yeah, you weren't there, right, right. No, so, uh, I'm not here. <laughs> you didn't do anything you. last season, but I do think no. your team actually... Oh, wait, let me... Oh, no. You tied against... Slavs, for Slavs? sure. Yeah, and for sure. another and team. as well. Yeah, Pondcard as well in round okay. three, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Absolutely. And that was on just a hidden city, here, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's yeah. why. Yep. Just absolutely. happy to be here, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Am I happy? No, I'm suffering. Well. <laughs> I have to carry Frenchmen on my back. Apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, so next week, Redemption Arc for you guys against Pondegard. See who's the better team. Um, you you <laughs> got it against Apes, that's good. Didn't you fight yep. Apes in Plains Division as well? Or were they starting in Rustic? No, I think they started in Rustic. Oh, they might have. Because our season in Plains, we played like things like Wild Blood, and the Impact was the only relevant team. Yeah, Impact was really good. Yeah, and we 2 0 them. <laughs> Let us not forget. With no strats, if I may add. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the last round. They were true. They had won all the, all of the games, and then they were changing yeah. these good. Yeah, but that definitely 
you guys were the only one to ever beat Impact, actually. Yeah. I know. Be be because they played Impact. Yeah. <laughs> I was here, I do so, remember. So confident here. Uh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. You're gonna take your W's at some point. Ah, we, don't have, yeah. we don't have many with this team, so you know, <laughs> might as well enjoy the ones we get. All right, good one. Um, in yeah. chat, Denix is already Denix is already calling you Ali the Troller, so um, you got your name spelled out for you right there. <laughs> they're, they're my team members. Of course, they're gonna call me a troller because I'm flaming them. They deserve it, you nerds. <laughs> Rightfully so. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, if you want to stick around for a bit, you can absolutely. Um, next bands, I'm just gonna tell them to you because then you will reala realize that that match will be very different from yours. Um, you can of course also check them out because you know where it is in the, in, the, in the game lobby. Yeah. Um, so no outriders, no camels. Yeah, we're gonna see a lot of calf. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully. Eh. Yeah. Wait. So <laughs> Shenji open. Hmm. Yeah, so Shenji okay. opens, Zakalian opens, so that's very different. No flames as well. So that's like three three units that you guys were using tons of. And, and they won't be, be there. Yeah, that'll be very interesting, right? Like Yeah, that's really interesting. Like Oh but yeah, but it's Sengigna versus no bitches, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Two zero no bitches. <laughs> that, that's, that's what we're expecting, right? Yeah, alright, alright. Uh, Echoes? No, no, no. Echoes, you got any uh, any any ballsy like uh, prediction here for us that uh, it's not going to be two oh for uh for Endgamer? Oh, for us. Uh, oh, 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 here we go. For uh, No Beaches. Oh. Nah, I, I do think it's going to be 2 0 to uh, No Beaches. Uh, I know a couple of the players there, and they are very trolly, but they are very good <laughs> players at the same time. So, mm -hmm. you know, they might purposely drop a game now because everyone thinks it's going to be 2 0, but yeah, no, that No Beaches are a very solid team. Yeah, definitely. So, they're, they're absolutely really, really, solid. really got quite a high mountain to climb mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Yeah, and also on our beaches this season we got Amya uh coming over from Plebs. Um he's combining his power with match in the Galaxy Brain. Um so that's going to be really interesting for those who for some reason haven't haven't found out who Amya is. Uh he was the Assassin Award player from for three seasons now in a row and of course also winning <laughs> triple CBR, CBLs and whatnot. So um of course with Plebs, uh, it's a team game. So uh but yeah, Amya is really going to look good, I hope at least. On his dual yeah, blades once again. It's always fun watching them, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's probably gonna get like 15 kills this game, to be honest. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him outside on the uh, supplies again uh, when they're defending. <laughs> like he's he's been doing like so much, like in TWs, on uh, CBRs, on CBLs, whatnot. Like he will just get any unit out on the supply that the, the attackers have outside, and then just go rampage in their back lines. Insane. That's lovely. Love seeing this, to be honest. And, you know, if there's a lapse in comms, like, you're gonna get punished really hard against Amia, so... Mm -hmm. It's good to see these plays. And, you know, Amia is someone that forces you to adapt to his movement. Like, he changes the game just by existing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pain. Kinda true, yeah. I mean, longbowmen are also open, so, you know, you, you might see Amia pulling out the assertions and, you know, just take out all the mm -hmm. longbowmen so his team can float out riders. Yep, absolutely. Oh, or the Shenji, or the Zekalian. I mean, there are so many targets now for him that are like interesting to go for. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be very enjoyable to watch. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go back to my guys. All right. They're, I, they're, they're whinging a little bit about me flaming them. Yeah, I hope they still want to have you, so... Uh, <laughs> all of... So, I'll find out later in team registration if if suddenly it's uh, Audrey Du out and then uh, someone else in. <laughs> so back to losing ways. Okay, I see. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank You're you. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Have a mm -hmm.